Hey, my friends, it's me, Julie, and it is Throwback Thursday. Woohoo! If you're new here, welcome and welcome to my old friends. If you want to buy anything from the video, pause the video here and um, you'll see exactly how to do that. All right, awesome. Um, I just had this feeling like I wanted to tell you something and I had remembered and then not remembered and yeah, so I don't have it. <laughs> But I had a feeling like I needed to. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with some clippies. Clippy, clippy, clippies. And there's a hair on it. I think it's my hair, so it's okay. There they are. Clippies, not signed, about three quarters of an inch. Silver tone in excellent condition. Five dollars. I think you can see the number in the shot, I think. So I don't need to make that really stand out to you. Okay, we got a necklace. Okay, so we have some issues. Do you see the enamel loss in some places? We sure do. So this one really should go in our misfit jewelry. Um, maybe I should set it aside. Uh, should we set it aside for misfit? Yeah, we'll do that. Misfit. You're going over here because I would have to give you a coupon and all that nonsense. So, all right, here we go. We've got some glass, beautiful glass necklace. It's pretty heavy, so I would feel confident saying that's probably light glass. Um, and here is the hook closure. These are a bigger size um, uh, bead than typical. Um, glass necklaces so just so you know that's a little bit of a bigger size I can actually tell you what the bead size is hold on one second I know they usually do them in millimeters but that's not how I'm gonna do it um, it's like three eighths of an inch so they're a little bit larger this has a 17 inch total length you guys it is beautiful it's gonna be $20 $20 on that baby all right, let's see. Okay, what is this guy? That's kind of neat looking. What did you guys see? Check it out. So it looks like we've got plastic. We have white plastic, and then there's different colors dividing the beads. I see a green and orange. Probably could use a little cleaning. Yellow. Um, that's kind of cool. That's cool looking, and it has one of those hidden barrel clasps. There is a crack right there and a crack here. Here, just so you see um, let's see I probably have measurements here I'm trying to close it because I could put it on the bust so we could really see it there we go bust out the bust here we go and there she is that's actually really cool I like it um, okay it has a 15 and a half inch total length and I have it for seven dollars but I'm gonna give you guys a coupon today and we're gonna go five dollars five dollars on this little beauty <laughs> all right let me set the bust aside it's probably a little bit in your view still sorry um there we go five dollars on the white plastic necklace um i want to thank you guys for the awesome sales from tuesday's video um treasure hunt tuesday i appreciate it so much i know it was fun because the prices were nice and low and all that good stuff and it was great stuff and it was so much fun what i'm showing you here i tried to fix this and i could not make it happen this piece has been re reinstalled i was gonna say <laughs> re-glued at some point so um it's up a little bit you can kind of see that it's in the setting funny I think that if I hadn't told you that, it would be hard to tell. Um, it is the same kind of crystal there, that like frosted glass. Um, can you see that? I think that it matches pretty well. So all I can see is that problem now because my eyes are drawn to it. Um, it is light blue color. There it is, the um, pin back. Uh, let's see. This is two and three quarter inches long. Um, okay, I have this for 20, but I feel that's too high, you guys, because of this little boo boo. So let's make it, let's make it 10. That's like a bargain. $10. I'm going to have to write that down because I will forget. 
See, I have to change my little cheat sheet. I was feeling a little too ambitious on that one. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I was all excited. Maybe this will be the video on Tuesday that I actually sell everything in a video. And honestly, we came close, guys. I think we didn't sell 10 things. So, like, holy cow. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. This is a larger size um, tennis bracelet. It is not 925. I believe it is marked 925, but it is not. It is not 925. Um, it has, like, almost a darker silver tone setting. Almost antiqued-ish. Um, but not like a bright, shiny, a silver tone, excuse me. Um, it's seven and a quarter inches long. Um, and we're going to do this one for 15. It's a beautiful light purple. Um, they are cool to the touch, so they're probably glass. Very, very pretty. $15 on that one. Okay, hold on. My number fell down. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so what have you guys been doing? What do you have going on? Tell me. Yesterday, I worked with Jeff up in Maine. We worked up in Kennebunk on a beautiful property. Oh, my goodness. We were putting garage doors on the guest house, and the guest house is bigger than my house. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so here we go. These look like um, kind of, here, I'll show you the brooch first. It's a set. Um, that is like a dark purple and a very pale purple and it's like grapes with the leaves and silver tone. Um, it is not signed. Uh, the brooch is two inches wide and then we have earrings to match and they don't have like that grapey look as much, but they do match. They're the exact same color stones and the same, uh, uh, silver tone and the earrings are an inch and a quarter. And the brooch was two by two. I didn't say that exactly. And I am going to do this gorgeous set for $25. $25, you guys. So I'm so curious, you guys. Do you like, like the hunt videos where I'm not as prepared with measuring and prices and all that? Do you like that better? Or do you like the ones where... It's a little more curated, meaning I've gone through everything, hopefully pulled out most of the <laughs> craft items. That doesn't always happen, we know. Um, things sneak by that I don't see till I'm under these lights. Um, or do you like the ones where, um, you know, I'm pulling things out. I don't totally know what I'm... I'm sorry about my nails, guys. It's still acid. They're going to stay like that. And I haven't had time to... Um, paint them. It's testing acid, turns them yellow. It's gross. See, this side's not really like that. That's because this side didn't get hit with acid. This is my dominant hand. Okay. Anyway. Um, so anyway, we have a necklace here. So tell me, tell me if you like the, um, the hunt videos or the measured stuff. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. This is a 16 inch total length. I was told that this is black coral. I don't know that for sure, you guys. Um, it makes me think that it might be because there are some different um, colors in this a little bit. Um, it's not like perfect, perfect. And it doesn't feel like plastic to me. And it doesn't feel like glass. So I'm thinking it probably is coral, but like I said, I'm not totally sure. It has the hook clasp. It's very, very pretty. Um, 16 and a half inch total length, and I'm going to do this one for 20, 20. So possibly coral. I think it probably is. I can't prove it. And also I have a black coral bracelet and the material reminds me of that a lot. So that's why I'm a little more comfortable saying I think it is. <laughs> yeah, that's really comfortable, right? I think. <laughs> All right, we got micro mosaic, isn't it gorgeous? A micro mosaic cross, gold tone, says Italy on the back. It is an inch this way, an inch and a half, excuse me, inch and a quarter this way. And we're gonna do this one for 25. It's stunning, $25. And it comes in this little cute case. I added some bubble to it so it wouldn't hit on the top of the case. Um, so there we go, all right. 25 on that one. All right, next, let's see. Okay, so we have a clear glass necklace. 
Um, I would definitely say this is lead glass. Again, these are heavy on the front. Maybe it goes into possibly um, just regular glass right here. These don't feel very heavy. These have some weight to them. They're really cool, faceted, almost disco ball like um, beads on there. Very, very pretty. It has um, a spring ring clasp, some knots there that you can see. So just be aware of those. Um, what else do we need to know? Oh, 16 inch total length, you guys. And we're gonna do just $12 on this one, $12. Okay, when I bought all the crystal necklaces like that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my goodness, I was like choking there, sorry about that. Um, so I paid one price for clear single strands, one price for colored glass um, single strands, and then the doubles, um, double colors, glass, double um, clear glass. So that's how that kind of went, so you might notice some um, that's cool. We'll see some signatures there, you guys. Um, that says Marvella. It's a 16 inch total length. I'm going to put this on the bust also because I don't think you can get its full, you can't appreciate its full beauty here. Isn't that gorgeous? So we've got like some like, um, coppery bronzy pieces, coppery bronzy, and then here's your glass pieces. Um, these I would say are acrylic that aren't the glass pieces. It's, it's absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. And I do think these are glass. I'm feeling them. They're cool to the touch. Um, the hook is even embellished with a little rhinestone. It's so pretty. And this is pretty. Look at this. Isn't it pretty? They did a good job with this. Good job, Marvella. Um, okay, 16 inch total length. I'm going to ask 20 for this one. $20. So we'll be going back to that uh, Treasure Hunt Tuesday jewelry on um, on next Tuesday, and I can't wait. That was so fun. I had so much fun with you guys. I appreciate you. Okay, so we've got some clippies. What do we got? Crown Trafari, I see on the bag. Crown Trafari clippies. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <gasps> stay up, stay up, stay up. I'm betting on you. Oh my gosh, you guys, crown trafari cherry earrings. Cherries with pimples, but they're still cute. <laughs> um, okay, crown trafari, can you see it there? There is a little crown on top of that T. That's how you know it's crown trafari. These measure one inch. They're in very, very good condition. Um, if I'm nitpicking, this is a slightly different color, but serious nitpicking to get to that they're they're beautiful um anything that looks dark is the lights and shadows uh besides that one little spot and it kind of it's kind of hard to see but it is right there um because i'm nitpicking <laughs> anyway these are going to be ten ten dollars very beautiful okay let me bring my numbers back in here there we go yeah, so give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys like, because I'm so curious. I know for a fact that some people really like the, the more curated style. That's what we could say, mystery versus curated. Um, where I've gone through everything and everything's kind of ready to go. Um, these are an inch long, really? I See, in my eye says three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna just check them, because I'm curious. They are just about an inch, you guys. Check it out. Maybe slightly smaller. My eye was lying. <laughs> From my job, um, measuring for garage doors all the time. Typically, I'm okay with measurements. I can do pretty well. My husband actually asks for my opinion a lot. How far do you think that is? Um, so, but my guesser is off today. That's okay. We all have bad days. Silver tone screw backs in very, very nice shape. They are just under an inch, and we're going to do them for $6. Okay. So, <laughs> I got to tell you this dog story. <laughs> so, Bryn makes the water bowls disgusting because she's crazy. You know, she brings in dirt or whatever from outside. 
Um, she'll drink and she's the weirdest drinker, you guys. So this is a little brooch. I believe that's an acrylic piece, gold tone, inch and a quarter. There's the back. And we're gonna do this one for 12. $12. Okay. Um, then, okay, Bryn, that's what I was telling you. Sorry, my mom texted me. I'll go on a fun tangent. You know how we got hoverboards? My mom and I went in and these on hoverboards for the three boys. Oh boy, the hoverboards have turned into a nightmare. They just finally got to try them. And these are an inch and a quarter, you guys, and they're awesome. They're really, really pretty. And guess who they are? They're Crown Trafari. I'm going to do these for 20. They're stunning. Um, okay, you guys, it's happening again. I start a video and all that's happening is text messaging. <laughs> Um, anyway, mom's trying to return the hoverboards because all they have done is break since the seconds the kids got to try them. Um, it was finally clear enough to try them out. But anyway, um, so she's trying to return them and she needs me. So I'm going to give her a call and then figure out my other calls and I'm going to come right back. Remember, um, they used to on Love Connection, they go in two and two. <laughs> I'll be quicker than that for you though. Okay, I'm back. It was like two seconds for you, not two minutes, two se seconds. Did anybody ever watch that? Chuck Woolery, The Love Connection. I used to catch it when I'd be like homesick from school. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who are younger than that. Or I guess maybe older than that. Possibly too, huh? Um, it was a dating show. And the contestant would pick between three people based on this little like video kind of thing. And then they'd go on a date and all that good stuff. Okay, so this is acrylic. And it's absolutely fantastic. I am in love with this necklace. It is graduated. Um, it is orangey and it goes from like a light orange, almost like a clear orange up here to a deeper, darker orange. I'm trying to clip this, guys. <laughs> okay, how about you do it in front of you? That will help. Let's do that. Oh, wow, guys, my hands aren't working. All right, this says West Germany on it. Wrong with me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Holy guacamole, I couldn't do it. Okay. Here we go. What is that? It's gorgeous. So it is graduated. They get darker down here. Um, it's it's absolutely stunning. Uh it has it says West Germany has an 18 inch total length and it's gonna be 18. I feel like that's too high because it is not glass. This sold to me like it was glass, but it is not glass. I wonder if, oh, look guys. So the one set of beads is darker than the other is really what that is. Sorry about that. I was thinking it was in the same strand. We are going to make it $12, you guys. We got another coupon. So I think I was starting to tell you about <laughs> Bryn's water problems. Okay, so she also drinks like no other dog I've seen. She kind of looks like the Loch Ness Monster when they're coming up out of the water and all the water is pouring off them. And she does this weird thing. Like she puts water in her mouth and then kind of tips her head back to drink it. I have no idea. It's, she's done it since she was a baby. So <laughs> it's just the Bryn way and that's okay. <laughs> but it's gross. <laughs> the pools get full of saliva and Zeus is not into it. And she drops her balls in the bowl because she thinks that's fun. And, you know, Zeus isn't into it. These are cool, guys. Look at the Rivolis. Really cool. They are cool to the touch. I would say these are glass and in between are acrylic. Um, it is a hook closure. Where's the hook? Guess what, guys? There's no hook. That is a bummer. Guess what? I'm not going to sell you that. Maybe we'll put in the Misfits. If somebody wants to add a hook. So anyway, Zeus isn't having it. So we noticed that that was happening. He was like turning his nose up to the water bowls. And don't worry, we clean them frequently. Um, just it wasn't enough for Zeus's liking. <laughs> this is another amber color, guys. It's a little bit more amber than those last ones that were um, orangey. It's a longer strand. It is graduated gorgeousness. And these are glass. I would say probably... Um, Probably not lead, it, lead glass on these guys. So I would say this is glass crystal necklace. Infinity. 
Um, it has a 12 inch drop from here to here. It is gorgeous. I love this one too. Um, we are going to do this one for $20, $20. All right. So we were kind of aware that, um, you know, Zeus was turning his nose up to the water. So there was a little water bowl in, um, in Finch's like safe zone when we leave. So just in case we put Finch, the little guy in a little area, it has like a playpen fence around it kind of thing. Um, when we leave. So there was a little dish in there and it just always ends up getting filled with pool and spring water because we'll walk by and just dump water in it kind of thing. Um, so <laughs> Zeus started getting wind, getting smart to the fact that that was good water in there and we started letting him drink that and like every time he had a chance he'd go in there and drink out of that bowl. I think this is the front of this. Cool, huh? It is wood. It is very cool very long it has a 28 inch drop you guys it is like this isn't reading right it looks brown on camera it is actually like um a mauve color like dusty rose um it's very very cool we're gonna do this one for nine dollars so anyway we created a nightmare you won't even believe it he will not drink unless it's pole and spring unless he gets super 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 like on the borderline of dehydrated. So now Juicy has his own dishes with Poland Spring water, which is absolutely crazy, I realize. <laughs> Please don't tell me it's crazy because I know. <laughs> this is acrylic, you guys. It's really cool. It looks like stone, but it's acrylic. Nice and lightweight then, right? Sometimes the stone necklaces can be heavy and the glass necklaces. This is nice. I like it. Um, yep, looks to be all acrylic or possibly resin I think it's acrylic uh, lobster claw clasp on this one this one has a drop of 12 inches and we're gonna do nine dollars nine dollars um yeah anyway so we created a monster I don't know how we're ever gonna fix that problem or if we even can at this point I know some of you people are really good like dog trainers would be like just do it like this, or they're not gonna not drink. Just, you know, starve him, wait him out. <laughs> and we're probably too much of suckers, I realize, but that's okay, I don't care. <laughs> I don't want him to suffer. He's a sweetheart and we turned his life upside down. This is ridiculous, you guys. Let's see how long it takes Julie to do up a barrel clasp. <laughs> um, I think this one might be lead crystal, you guys. It is. Can light crystal come in colors? I don't know the answer to that question. Oh, I know what I was supposed to tell you at the beginning of the video. I just figured it out. This is gorgeous. My favorite color. This would have been awesome for Valentine's Day, huh? I love it. Um, I was fixing the beads because as you can see, they are a little um, loosely strung right there. So you'd have to keep that at the back. Um, gorgeous. This has a nine inch drop. So probably about an 18 inch or so total length. This one's gonna be 15, $15. Uh, yeah, so we turned his life upside down, the poor guy, when we got Bryn. <laughs> so he's gone through enough. He puts up with enough with her. <laughs> we can do his water for him, I guess. Okay, here we go. What have we got here? Okay, I think this might go, yeah. Okay, so we have a toggle clasp right here that goes through right here and makes it a double strand. It is gold tone. Wow, we're just gonna watch Julie strut. You know what, I'm not even gonna do it, guys. Not gonna do it. <laughs> it has this cool, this is the shorter strand and it has these really cool like hammered discs and then this acrylic like bead there. I love that it's sideways. Like it doesn't look like anything you see, right? I really like that. And then the longer strand is this chain. It's in excellent condition. It is signed. It says Stanley Home Products. Um, it does not say that. I lied. But that's what it stands for. It says Shop EXCI period. Okay. Oops, sorry. And that stands for Stanley Home Products. Okay. So the first uh, length, the drop to the first chain, which is this guy is uh, 13 inches 
and then the drop to the second chain is 15 and a half inches. Okay, and we're gonna do this one for 18, $18, it's beautiful. Uh, I based that on looking up that brand too, guys, just so you know. Um, okay, we have one of those magnetite bracelets. Oh, guess what? The thing I was going to tell you at the beginning, I can't even do. I'll tell you tomorrow. Oh, you'll have to stay tuned. Okay, so you guys know these magnetite bracelets um, that you can kind of do any way you want. It could be a necklace too. Um, this is magnetite. It looks like hematite, but it is magnetic. So it's magnetite. Isn't that neat? <laughs> um, I heard somebody once on a video say that, and I've never tried this, that you could wear magnetite while you're out thrifting and things, and then you could kind of try to press jewelry metals to your magnets, and if they're not magnetic, then it could be precious metal. Isn't that a cool idea? Okay, so we got magnetite, and we've got uh, acrylic beads, and it is not memory wire. It just holds together because they're magnetic to each other. Three dollars. Three dollars on the magnetite. Um, okay, we have a Cremence brooch. It's an inch and a quarter. There it is. Very pretty. Silver tone, clear rhinestones. Oh, I thought that rhinestone was missing for a second. It's not. It's there. Cremence likes to label on their pin back, and it's super, super small. Um, I wonder if... And I'm telling you this because you could totally look past that, right? Because a brooch isn't typically... Most people, most companies don't label there, but that's it. It says Cremence. You can see it with the loop. Um, I'm going to have to ask Kristen D what she uses for her magnification. I keep forgetting. Um, maybe she'll hear this and tell me in the comments. That would be great. Thanks, Kristen. Okay. Anyway, it's an inch and a quarter uh, Cremence, and we are going to do $12. $12 on the Cremence. Am I saying that right? Now I'm second guessing myself. I think I am. Okay, we got some faux pearls. Faux pearls, gorgeousness. It is a triple strand of lovely. Has a hook closure. Um, has slight wear on it, my note says. Okay, so you can see here. See the metal parts have little wear right there, a little vertigree. It is labeled Japan. Um, it has a 17 and a, you haven't even really seen it. Sorry guys. 17 and a half total length. Are you guys doing what I do? Like trying to turn your head a little bit or move your head so you can see it when it's just not really on screen. <laughs> Tell me you've done that. Come on. Okay. So, um, faux pearl and acrylic and gorgeous. It has a little bit of an AB finish on the acrylic beads. Um, uh, 17 and a half inch total length, $16, $16 on that baby. There's your number, $16. Why don't you pull this a little closer? Okay, so I have this little one. I think it might be clay. I'm not sure. Um, clay beads, do you see? And they have like um, uh, decoupaged um, roses on them. Decoupage or maybe like a water um, slide. Is that what it's called? I think it is. You can do that on clay. It's like a water slide image thing. I have some, but I can't think of what it's called exactly. I think that's what it is. This only has a 16 and a quarter inch drop, you guys. It is tiny. I'm thinking this would probably be sold more for the beads, um, unless someone has someone that would um, fit it. Uh, let's see. So we're just going to do it for $5. And um, hopefully someone has someone that would love it. Someone out there would love it. Or you could repurpose it. Oops. Hold on, guys. I... The pearl, the faux pearl necklace is trying to escape next door and have a party. You gotta stay in your pocket, girl. Stay in your pocket. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see here. I just called my mom fast because she's trying to return those hoverboards I was mentioning. And I swear, my mom is having the the worst time. Her best friend from college, they've been friends for 50 years, uh, just found out she has advanced cancer. And it doesn't look very good. And then she just found out that her friend Linda, who you'll see in my comments at times, um, just got taken to the hospital with a possible heart attack. 
And I'm not meaning to spend, spread people's business. They wouldn't mind me saying it that way. So anyway, this is gorgeous, you guys. Um, so if you want to give them some love in the comments, that would be nice. But my mom is not doing very well, holding up from all that. Um, these are glass. Um, and I believe these guys might be acrylic, these ones. Really cool colors. And I love, um, let me get these up close so you can see. They're like black with like a bronzy AB finish on them almost. Very, very cool. Lobster claw clasp, which I think might have been replaced at some point. I don't know if it was originally that. Because um, I really do think this is vintage. So I'm holding it wrong. This is your center. Sorry about that. Okay, this has a 16 and a half inch total length, and we're gonna do this one for 14. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know if you can hear my husband outside, but he is plowing because I jinxed us and we got eight inches of snow. How did that happen? We go from 60 degrees. Was that just my last video, you guys? Is that possible? No, is it? Oh my goodness, I don't even know. Um, these feel like glass, you guys. They're absolutely incredible, aren't they cool? Look how they pick up the light. I like love that. Um, they are marked. It says Vendome. They are the clips with um interesting guys. I don't know how this works. Why isn't there a piece right there? I don't think they are what I'm saying. How does that tighten up? Do you guys know? Okay, so typically what I'm saying is typically you would have a clip or a screw back or there is a kind with a clip and then the screw back goes and tightens into here to make them nice and snug. But look, this one doesn't have the bar there. So it must work in a different way that I'm not aware of. It is pushing that piece out. That's cool. I've never seen that type, that style. Okay, so um, these are an inch and they're gonna be $9. $9. So I will tell you guys a little bit of what I was going to talk about because I can do some of it from memory. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to try, I should say. Okay, you guys, this is a Renoir Matisse set. It is in there, I promise. It is gorgeous. It is copper and enamel. Here are the earrings. Stunning, right? It's awesome. Um, is that some enamel loss? It is a tiny bit. Look, at, I never saw that. You see it right there? Tiny, tiny bit. It's hard to see, though. They kind of look the same still. Um, here it's labeled. Here's Renoir, who I love as an artist, by the way. And there's Matisse. So they are called Renoir Matisse. And there is a beautiful brooch to match. Here it is. Isn't that beautiful? Um, is that something wrong? I don't think there's anything wrong. Maybe there's a little crack in the enamel, but it's not like coming off or anything. Um, there is the Renoir signature there and Matisse is over it, but you can't really read it anymore. Uh, so the brooch, oh, I didn't measure these, um, like three inches on the brooch and probably an inch and a quarter on the earrings. So for the whole set, I was going to do $40, $40. I feel like I should mark it down because I didn't know about um, the break in it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually make it $35, you guys. $35, which is a good deal for what they are from what I looked up. Um, and put this away over here. Um, actually, we're not going to put it in there because it's going to fall in the pocket. And then I won't be able to get it. And I'll be so frustrated. Okay, this is a cool bracelet, guys. Look at it. It's copper. It's fantastic. Isn't it beautiful? I really, really like it. Um, and here's how it closes. Woohoo! I could do it through the camera. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> it is marked solid copper in there. Um, let's get a size. I don't have that. I would say seven and a quarter, guys. Nice and comfortably at seven and a quarter. Very, very pretty. It almost looks like hearts upside down and upside right. I'm going to do this one for $12, $12. So what I was thinking is I like in my Tuesday video, because I hadn't prepped everything, I had like tons of questions. Like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Blah, blah, blah. What could this be? <laughs> All that stuff, right? So 
I was thinking, um, and you guys come to the rescue in the comments like crazy, which I totally appreciate. We'll check some of these with the gem tester, guys. But this is stone. It is stunning. I love it. Are we going to guess at anything? No, I'm just going to tell you after if that's what I guessed. How's that? <laughs> and I'll be honest. It has a tag on it. Um, it says India. So made in India, it looks. They are a little um, different shapes. Like that one's a little different. Um, so just know that they're not perfect. They have like a natural natural flow to them. So let's see. This has a 13 inch drop. All right, here we go. I have a guess. We are going to do the purple bead. I have a guess. I guessed right. Yes. Amethyst. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this light green. Is that light green right here? Yeah. Light green. Okay. I have a guess in my head. I wasn't right, but I'm wondering if it's green amethyst, which has another, oh my goodness, I'm testing over here, so I'm really messed up. Uh, has another name for it besides green amethyst. I can't think of that. Um, what else do I think will show up on our machine? Not sure what that is. See that, guys? It's got like uh, blues in it. Um, how about this nice and clear bead? Do you guys have a guess? I have a guess. You're probably all like, yes, Julie, we have a guess. Okay, so I think I was right. That is just quartz. Not just, quartz is cool. I'm going to do the orange bead. Let's see if that comes up to something. Um, okay, well, that's where it is, guys. Does tourmaline have an orange color? Anyway, it's all stone. It is absolutely stunning. In between are like brassy pieces. I'm going to stop testing there because... Oh, I guess I could do this because if it's onyx, I know where onyx goes. Let's do it. Onyx doesn't have a line per se on the gem tester. Interesting, guys. So I don't think that's onyx, maybe obsidian. I'm not saying it's glass either because there are stones that, for instance, like turquoise doesn't read anything on the gem tester. Um, should we check this yellow one, see if it might be citrine? I'm going to keep it off camera because I keep moving this thing around. I know it's not good for it. I'll promise I'll tell you the truth. So that came to the glass line or just the beginning of the Garnet Tourmaline Iolite line. Cheapers. Sorry, that was really blurry. Okay, here we go. Let's do a price and get on to something else. 13 inch drop, you guys. $25. Really cool. I really like this one because um, it's not as shiny, shiny, shiny. Like they're polished, but not crazy shine. And I think that's really cool looking. Okay. Okay, so anyway, um, I don't know things in the video, and then I go to my um, comments, and I learn so, 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 so much. So, I was thinking about at the end of the following video, on a video where I've had like a lot of things I wasn't sure of, blah, 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 that we could do like a little recap and look at things and um, talk about what they really were. Um, and then if you don't, sorry, I hit the camera. If you don't want to watch, you can just stop the video and you don't have to watch that. But if you're interested, if you are curious about some of the things, you could watch it. I thought that would be fun. Maybe it's the teacher in me and you guys are like, that's not fun. <laughs> I can't help it, guys. I can't help it. I taught uh, one year, I taught a multi-age classroom and it had... Uh, this has a twist because of how I clipped it. This is really cool, you guys. Um, like a, a acrylic bead with AB finish. This is another... That's a little cold to the touch. So it's probably glass or ceramic. And then these cool like slices. It's really cool. And they have earrings to match. Um, so this has a seven and a half inch drop to here. An eight and a half inch drop to here. Uh, the earrings are an inch. Nothing is signed. In really good shape. 25. 25 on that set. So I taught in a multi-age classroom. And um, I read a lot of books about that, of course, before. Because that was back in the day before the internet, really, guys. Before everybody was using the internet, I should say. Um, and one of the things that was kind of like my motto, like when we pre presented it to the parents, it was at a private school and stuff, was that like, 
really learn something when you teach it to someone else. So I was talking about the benefits, you know, of the bigger kids, the older kids in the classroom also having chances to help the younger kids in that way. It was really cool. Um, my teaching career was an interesting experience. I taught second grade. This was a private school. And then I moved up to third grade with those same kids. And then I taught second, third, and fourth together. And I was with those kids because they were in fourth grade. And then I moved up to fifth grade and I taught all of them again. <laughs> well, the ones that had been with me. This is a glass necklace, you guys. It's blue and green. It is missing one of the rhinestones in the bar. Okay, it is a hook closure. It is on the shorter side. And as I'm looking at it, the AB finish is a little spotty. Do you guys see that? Um, I'm not gonna, I was gonna charge 18, but that's too high, guys. Let's go 10. $10, it's 16 and a half inch total length. And where's the number? It's 142. Okay, so anyway, I was thinking that that kind of carried over to this. Maybe um, things would be in my head a little bit more if I tried to talk about them after and teach them to you. <laughs> okay, so I was going to have the items again to show us, but we're going to kind of have to go off memory. This is a memory foam um, necklace. I believe these bigger beads are glass. 17 inch total length. Um, it does do up with um, a lobster claw. $13. $13. Can I get that in my pocket? Okay, so if you remember, back on Tuesday, we did Treasure Hunt Tuesday. We found a sterling silver cross with a light blue, um, light blue stones in it. And one of you awesome people out there told me that you thought it was Chal uh, Chalcedony. Or do you say Chalcedony? Oh boy, I didn't look that up. I probably should have done that. Okay, anyway. Then on the gold earrings, somebody put in the gold scrap amount and it was just under $60 a gram. So the gold earrings definitely were a good deal and I'm, I'm very happy to pass that on. Um, this is really pretty, you guys. It's like a dark gold tone, almost a brassy color. It is signed. It says A-R-E-G-E-L. Okay, and it is gold filled. So it has that gold filled look is what I was describing. It can be a pendant or a brooch. It's signed right there. And this is going to be $30. That's a little bit better of a company manufacturer. Okay, so Chalcedony or Chalcedony, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Sorry about that. The gold was a really good deal. It probably, scrap would have been like, what does that work out to be? 60 plus 60 plus like 50 or so. I don't know. Something like that, guys. So like 170 I sold them for 40 but again, I'm psyched that somebody got that deal. Don't, don't worry about that part. <laughs> okay, so this is an inch and three quarter. It has a little bit of wear on it, you guys. So for that reason, I am only going to charge $4 for it. It's still very pretty and it might come off. I, I'm not sure if somebody wants to mess with it. Okay, so what else? Um, oh, do you remember the earrings? They were um, sterling silver and they had... Um, amber colored stones on them. Do you remember that? Well, two things. Um, my mom said that that kind of style earring that I'm always asking about, the one with the bar that clips in, um, is called a hinge clasp. And there's a couple other names for it, like more fancy names. This is really pretty, you guys. It's Bohemian Glass. It has a tag on it. Bohemian Glass. It has a 20, uh, eight and a quarter inch drop here to here. Um, this one's really nice, I really like it. Cool to the touch, some rhinestones. I'm gonna do this one for 18, $18. Okay, so those earrings, um, someone also mentioned that it was a lever back and I'm not sure if that's true. I think that's the one that like looks like this, like that. I'm not positive on that. Maybe they're both called that for sure, could be. Anyway, that stone somebody um, suggested was yellow tourmaline. So tell me what you guys think about that. I'm not sure. I forgot to get out my gem book too. <laughs> I say that a lot, right? I forgot. I forgot. Really, if I'm honest, I think about it when I come back up here because my whole day was filled with garage doors already <laughs> um, and not jewelry. And then I get it back up here and I'm like, oh no. Inch and a quarter. It does have a little bit of wear right here, guys. 
five dollars not signed uh what else there was another stone that someone told me um okay well the pearl necklace was probably potato pearls and i had heard that before but i did not bring that to my mind when i was doing it these are glass you guys they're really cool kind of like the fireworks earrings gorgeous um they are marked laguna six dollars um the pearls oh and the pearl necklace somebody suggested that was probably a 50 dollars strand of pearls so again i'm so excited that somebody got an awesome deal um okay so we have a bracelet it closes with a lobster claw clasp um we have some glass in here these clear beads here are glass um this one is glass these feel pretty, um, there's metal in between. I think that's what I'm feeling. Okay, so these are glass and this is glass for sure. I'm not sure on the other ones, but it's very pretty. Um, the bracelet has an eight inch, is eight inches. No, that's a lie. I'm sorry. It's seven and a half inches. I was reading my package wrong. And here is the necklace. Also has a lobster claw clasp. And it is obviously a longer version of that one. Oh, you guys, I lied. There's two necklaces. I'm sorry, I forgot about this one. That's right. Two necklaces. So it's a set of three. You could wear these together or you could wear them separately. Isn't that cool? So instead of making it like a double strand necklace, they gave you the option. Um, so this guy here has an eight inch drop, the shorter one. The longer one has an 11 inch drop, okay? And I was gonna do this set of three for 25. Um, I'm having a hard time remembering the other things I learned. <laughs> I'll go over it more tomorrow. And I'll probably have extra questions from this one, right? But I love that, you guys. Um, I never get upset if somebody wants to um, tell me in the comments that, you know, hey, that might be this or whatever. As long as you're respectful and not mean about it. I am always open to learning. I like to learn. I feel like we can all learn together. I just love it. Okay, this is really pretty, guys. It's a very light purple gorgeousness. Um, not It's marked Napier. Not sure if this might be um, amethyst or if it's just glass. Not just glass. It's stunning. Um, it's marked Napier right here. It is the cursive Napier. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, I would say it is glass. It is really, really pretty. It has a 14 inch drop. It's got some length on it. And it's hard to see the color right now. Um, it got dark in here. Uh, but it is a nice light purple, like um, a lilac color. And we're gonna do this one for 20. It's in really good condition, $20. Oh, okay. You guys are gonna have whiplash from the prices in my last video to the prices in this video. Just know if I buy low, I pass it on, okay? This one I bought piece by piece, so it's a little higher. Uh, Napier, gold tone, faux pearl, long strand, very pretty. These are acrylic in between the faux pearls. Uh, 14 inch drop, we're gonna do 17, 17. Mm. So there's a lady in my area in like the biggest town, like where we do everything, um, you know, where we grocery shop, where we do everything. She has a jewelry jar that she put together that's for sale. I believe this is amethyst chip. We'll double check that, but look at how cool this is. I love how like it's so irregular and just natural. It's so cool. The knot's not natural. <laughs> um, I was blocking the light totally there. Gorgeous, gorgeous purples. It is cool to the touch. I would be shocked if this wasn't amethyst, but you know, the professor likes to make me look silly. Yes, it's amethyst. At least I can know. <laughs> Usually I can tell amethyst. I guess not from the last necklace, but that's okay. Um, this one's gonna be 20, you guys. It's stunning. Oh, there is a chance that these are gold balls, like real gold. I stopped trying to test these because I broke another necklace trying to get to the metal to scratch. So if it is, cool. If not, cool. <laughs> so 
I tell you it was a 16 and a half inch drop? I think I did. I hope I did. Okay. All right, I'm into the bin that's like all glass necklaces again, and we did a lot of glass already. So let me see what else is in here, and then we'll switch to a different one. These are marked Japan button style clips. There's your Japan right there. Can you see it? Um, they are an inch and a quarter, and they're just going to be $3. They have some minor scratching right here, just so you're aware. $3 on those. Okay, I've got this. I have a guess for what I think this is. Um, it is a pale pink stone necklace. Okay, so I, my guess is rose quartz, but you have to remember that um, it could also be pink jade, okay? Is that just part of the quartz? It is. Uh, barrel clasp, we're gonna test it. Um, nine and a half inch drop. If you guys don't mind, I'm not going to move the professor. I'm just going to test it and tell you. Hopefully you guys trust me by now. I hope. Okay, so it's on the center of the quartz line. So I would say it is quartz. Rose quartz. Um, I know I keep messing with this. Does that come off? I think it does. I think it's actually dirt. Hold on a second. Looking off camera. Yes, it comes off, guys. There, there it is. There's only half of it now. Okay, so rose quartz, we're going to do 22. 22. Two, two. Not 20 also. Two, two. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see what this is. Okay, I remember what this is. This has a couple problems. Not really problems, just things I didn't know when I bought it. It's been repaired. See the repair there? These have been added to make it a pendant. Um, this tag reads AJC Gold Filled. No, I lied. That one says made in Czechoslovakia. Um, where's the gold filled one? I think that might be on the chain. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I don't think they originally went together. This says AJC Gold Filled. Um, oh, I had that marked. I didn't even have to make a mistake. And you can see the repair a little bit right here, okay? It's still really cool. Um, this is acrylic. These are all acrylic. This is a little bit of enamel. There's a little piece missing there. So it's really cool. It just has a couple condition issues. Maybe this should have gone in the Misfits too, huh? Okay, anyway, um, we have a 14-inch drop right here. The pendant itself um, is 2 inches. And I think that's too high. I was going to ask too much. <laughs> um, I'm going to make it $8. $8, okay, you guys? Coupon. $8 for the condition issues. It is made in Czechoslovakia. But the chain, again, the chain and the pendant don't go together. They were, they were put together. They were into an arranged marriage. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys, um, this is something special. I found it on the internet, I mean, on eBay. Um, it doesn't really have a name. It is like a heated pulled plastic, but I guess they're kind of special. Um, here's the pin back. It is beautiful. Gorgeous rhinestones um, as the stamen of the flower. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's three inches wide, and this one's gonna be $28. $28. I have her wrapped up in the fuzz she came in. Um, okay. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, I've got some Christmas earrings. Can we do Christmas? Even though it's past, if I can open the bag, we can. Um, these are an inch and an eighth. They are in excellent condition. Look how cute they are. <laughs> um, lighting is bad today. Red and green stones, you guys. Red here, here, here. They're kind of alternate around the tree. Um, red stone in the star. Clip-ons, $5. Okay. Let's see here. What have we got? Oh, this little thing. Okay. Not this little thing. This guy. Um, this is newer, I believe. Uh, there you go. 
and it comes up here to a lobster claw clasp. Oh, look at it. This is an extender. So whenever I talk about extenders, you probably know, but basically this part right here is an aftermarket extender. So it has a clasp and then the, the pieces on it. Um, I'm going to leave it on here. Um, it will extend your necklace, obviously, if you need to. Uh, and this is a necklace and earrings. Come on, girl. Look pretty. There you go. Here are the earrings. Uh, the earrings are about a half an inch. Um, the necklace has a seven and a quarter inch drop, plus the extender is actually three inches. Okay, this is really pretty. Um, I don't think it's vintage though. That's why I brought that up. Uh, we're gonna do this set for 15, 15. Really pretty. Okay, let's put that there. Um, okay, we have a stone, another stone necklace. Really cool. So I think you definitely have some agates in here and I think that because you see some clearness through it, right? So I think we've got some different agates. Um, this green might be jade. I don't know. Let's just look at the green. <laughs> Let's look at the green. Nephrite. The green is nephrite, you guys. So I was close. That's kind of in the same family. Okay, really cool necklace. Uh, barrel class. How long is this baby? It has a drop of 16 inches. And we're gonna do this one for 25. Gorgeousness. Okay. And we're just gonna do one more piece, guys, because then my bin is full and it's almost, we're almost at that point. Okay, we'll do this guy. This guy has a tiny bit of wear, you guys. Um, can you see it? Oh, it looks worse under the lights. Woo! <laughs> Do you see where the silver tone is coming through? Um, it's a really cool brooch though, you guys. It's actually an expensive brooch. It's made by Boucher. Um, here's the back. Boucher is, okay, so this was an interesting hunt to figure out what this was. I thought it looked like Boucher because if you look at it, you can see um, a B, uh, the bottom of a B. You know what I mean? It was a, it was a hunt. So I thought probably Boucher and then I found this brooch. Uh, made by Boucher. So it is. It's two and three quarter inches. Um, even in this condition, it's still worth like 20 bucks. So um, I'm going to charge you guys 15, which if it was in perfect condition, you could probably go 30 to 45. Um, so we're going to go 15. I had it a little higher. I'm marking it down for you guys. Guys, look at that. We ended with this, the right amount of cards and the right amount of pockets. That is cool. <laughs> um, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will go through um, and make sure that I'm prepared and have the things that we can learn about that I wasn't sure of from Tuesday's video and tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's Fresh Finds Friday. Guess what? I have no clue what we're going to look at. I have tons of stuff to look at, but I just haven't picked yet. So it might be not priced. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, be sure to let me know if you like the more curated video picks, the jewelry picks, or if you like the mystery picks when I'm a little bit more free flowing. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.